Troy Thompson says some of the kids in his community are out of control. As young as 12, stealing cars and breaking into homes. The problem's so bad now, Troy's taken matters into his own hands and managed to track down some of the stolen goods himself. Get your hands up now! It was horrible, it was harrowing. Oh look, it's spiralling out of control. I'm living in terror. In this city, they fear crime more than they fear COVID-19. To me, this is the real epidemic. We talk about COVID-19, this is an epidemic. Hello, is Lisa there? Hello. Troy Thompson's had enough. Lisa, um, my, my brother's property, stolen property, is at this address. If I can't have it, then I'll ring the police now and go and get them. Troy has a disabled nephew who's the latest victim of juvenile criminals, and he's been told the thieves have taken what they stole to this house in suburban Townsville. Oh, yeah. Well, so, who, who said that? I've got the evidence and I've got the person who's been in there to take a photo of the gear being in your house. One of the crime pages came back to me and said that uh, they knew where the goods were, who took the goods, and they even sent me a photo of what, where those goods were. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll ask if I can have a look or whatever. Well, I'll wait here. Then I asked about the property and one of the kids yelled out, it's here, come inside and get it and I'll stab you. Shouldn't you be at school? No, because it's a public holiday. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Well, my school it is. Who has more rights? Is it the children? who are doing these horrible crimes, or the families and the victims who are being forced to endure them. Christine Ham says a group of youths broke into their house in the middle of the night and stole a car which they drove around for several days, even posting videos with them in the car on social media. They're putting photos of what they're doing in people's vehicles on social media and laughing about it. Christine certainly isn't laughing. She says the juveniles pointed a fake gun at her husband in front of their young children. That was one of the things that just won't leave my mind. I keep thinking of their faces and their, their eyes and they were wide and they were just shaking and crying. And... Surprise! They're not quite well known to police and also the government. It's 64 kids. They keep re-offending. Troy Thompson is a One Nation candidate in the upcoming Queensland election. He says most of the crime is committed by a group of young offenders who are frequently arrested, get bail and re-offend. One of the children that uh, I came across out at the Cleveland Detention Centre has had 109 charges, 19 bail applications and he spent three weeks in detention throughout that whole time. This video was sent to us showing what we're told is young offenders in stolen cars doing burnouts in front of Townsville's youth detention centre. Uh, they're just unrelentless. They're, they're brazen, very, very brazen. In this dash cam vision, you can see a car speeding down the wrong side of the road as a stolen car then speeds past the driver. With a police policy of not pursuing stolen cars, owners like Christine just have to wait until their cars are dumped to get them back. When she did, hers was a write-off. I guess the, the sheer looking at the situation saying this is rife and how are people just accepting that this is okay? This is, it's not okay, we can't live like this. But you've got stolen property in your house, I mean surely... Oh, I only just found this out! I'm getting it all now! And suddenly, back at the house where Troy Thompson is looking for stolen property belonging to his disabled nephew, it all mysteriously appears. Lisa telling Troy kids come and go, leaving stuff there. So, have you got the drone and those? Oh, up? yeah, yeah, they found that as okay. well. Okay. Is this yours too? Yep. That one is. Yeah, that's mine. Okay. Yeah, they found that as well. I guess, and by doing this action, was to demonstrate to the people that this is the type of crime wave. As Lisa produces more of the stolen goods, she tells Troy she doesn't know who left them in her house. They're finding more stuff that's yep, there. there's, So this is what Are I've got. There? Yep, that's them. I don't know whose is what. Like, you know, like a lot of people were coming and going. As he come in the house, he headbutted me. He started punching me around the head. He wanted car keys. 
This poor woman is too scared to be identified after an intruder assaulted her and stole her car. He kept demanding car keys. Every time I went to get the car keys, he'd punch me in the head. This went for two hours. Her attacker is an adult. He was caught and jailed for nine months, but she's a mess. I can't sleep at night because they're, they're out there stealing cars, they're bashing people, they're, they're going to kill someone. They really are. In response to the crime wave gripping Townsville, the Queensland government has announced a special police operation. Starting this weekend, 130 officers will target repeat juvenile offenders. In fact, the government says it's already installed an extra 100 police in the city, but locals say it doesn't seem to make any difference. The police walk them into the courts, and these kids are walking back out of the courts and waving and saying, see you tonight. Back at the house where Troy's recovered the stolen goods, he makes it clear he's not happy. This is to a kid that's got a disability. He, this is his life, and they've taken it off him. Yeah, well, that's it, what it, it absolutely son, broke him. I do know a lot of the kids do say that, like, you know, they've got parents that are just on drugs and alcohol left, right and centre and no food in the house. Troy called police, who he says raided the property and are now investigating. While Lisa claims to be helping young offenders, many say enough is enough. I think that if you are bragging about what you're doing, you have the ability to know that what you're doing is wrong. Troy's nephew now has all his things back. Locals have organised a youth crime forum next week. Disappointingly, none of their state representatives plan to attend.